Hi guys, today I'm gonna to show you how you can change the color of clothing in your photos using an effect in Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose a photo. And I found this photo on unsplash.com that will work perfectly. So what I want to do is change the bottom half color of this dress to a different color that it already is. Now obviously you can change any style, so you can choose any section of the photo that you want to change the color. But today I'm just going to show you how you can change the color naturally using the hue and saturation. So the most important thing is to create a really good selection. Now you can use a selection tool such as the quick selection tool or the refine edge tool. But I find to create the perfect selection, what you want to do is actually use the pen tool, especially if you've got any harsh edges like what we're using at the moment. What I'm gonna do quickly is I'm gonna go ahead and cut out all of the bottom head of this dress and I'm going to use the pen tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and select P on your keyboard if you go ahead over to the left hand side here, you can see the pen tool selected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to a section. I'm going to go ahead and click, click and drag. And as you can see, that creates anchor points. And you can use the anchor points to create lines on your photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the rest of this dress quite quickly. So then I can show you how to create this effect afterwards. Lovely, so as you can see, I have created a cutout. And again, I've done this quite quickly just for this tutorial, but the longer you spend on a cutout, the better the outcome will be in the end run. Now, obviously at the moment, it is just a pen tool uh, and we've just created uh, an area. So we haven't actually created a selection yet. So the way to, if you're using the pen tool to create a selection is in, on the right hand side here, you've got layers, channels and paths. We've created a path using the pen tool. So we're gonna go ahead and select the paths selection in the layers. And as you can see, we've got a work path currently activated and that's the path that we're working on. So we're gonna go ahead and double click that icon and then you can go ahead and save the path. Now I'd always recommend saving a path just in case you ever open it up again, you can always go ahead and reactivate that path anytime you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and just save this as its default name, path one. So I'm gonna go ahead and press okay. Now to turn this from a path into a selection, what you'll need to do is press the command button on your keyboard and click on the thumbnail. So I'm gonna press command and click. And as you can see, that has turned it into a selection. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn back to the layers panel you can see where you can find your photo. Now at the moment, it's gonna be a very harsh cutout because every time you use the path tool, you're using a zero pixel feather. So the way to change this and to make it look a little bit more realistic, we're gonna go up to select, we're gonna to go to modify, and then we're gonna go ahead and change, or ch uh, change the feather here. Now when we're in feather, a radius of one pixel is where I would always start. So it, depending on how blurry the photo is, you could go for a 10 pixel feather, but because the photo is nice and sharp, a one pixel feather will work perfectly. So we're gonna go ahead and just simply click OK. Now we're ready to change the color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to our adjustment layers icon in the bottom right hand corner. We're gonna click and we're gonna go up to hue and saturation. So we're gonna go ahead and click it like so. Now, as you've done that, because we have created a selection, it will automatically create that selection in your layer mask. So as you can see with your layer mask icon, we have got that area cut out automatically. And that's why when you're creating a selection, the best way to do it is by doing it this way. Otherwise you end up having to paint in your selection and you end up making a mess, especially if you're using the brush tool. So this is the quickest and simplest way of creating a layer mask in Photoshop. So now what we've done that, we can actually now start changing the color. Now, when we open up the hue and saturation, you've got three sliders. You've got the hue, which is the type of color. You've got the saturation, which is the purity or the intensity of that color. And then you've got lightness or another term for it is luminance. And that is the brightness or darkness of that color. Now in the hue and saturation slider, you can also choose certain color bands. 
So in our color band selection here, currently, or the default is master. If we click on master, you will see a drop down will appear. And you can see you can select each color band independently from each other. But because we're only changing one color today and we've already created a selection, I'm just going to keep it on master for the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose master. Now to start changing the color, all you'll need to do is change the hue, which again goes from zero to 360 because a color wheel is obviously a circle and there's 360 colors within the color wheel. So as you can see, we're starting off with zero, if we move it over to the right, you can see that color is now starting to change and we can change it to anything of our choice. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to choose a nice, let's say cyan color. So we'll go for a color like so. Now, obviously this is a bit bright at the moment. So to reduce the brightness or intensity of that color, we can go ahead and desaturate it. So we've got our saturation here. So if we take the saturation slider over to the left hand side, you can see we're desaturating it, but at the same time, it's also getting slightly darker. So we can go to our lightness and we can increase the lightness like so to combat that particular effect. Now we can obviously change the saturation, luminous and lightness all independently from each other. So if you just wanted to desaturate the dress, so let's say take that back to its zero, we can go ahead and completely desaturate it. That will make it completely gray. And then we can go ahead and brighten it. So we can make like a white dress, as you can see here. Now, obviously you're gonna probably want to change the curves adjustment layer ever so slightly, because obviously we're slightly affecting the shadows. But if you only minorly change it, you can see that effect really starts to work. So you can create this really cool kind of monochromatic effect with your particular dress or whatever particular item of clothing you're working with. Now, if you ever want to revert back to normal, all you'll need to do is you've got this bottom button here. If you double click on that, it will revert it back without removing the layer mask. It will just revert all of those sliders back to their original default, which obviously is zero, zero, zero. So with this particular dress, I want to change it to a nice, let's say purple color to represent this nice magenta. So I'm going to go ahead and take that slider over to the left until you are happy with the result. So I'm going to go for something like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to desaturate it ever so slightly. So I'm going to desaturate it by 25%. And then I'm also going to brighten it up by 25% as well. Uh, let's go for 10% instead. Lovely. So if we go ahead and click off and there we go. So we can actually change the color of the dress by using the hue and saturation. Now, obviously you can change the whole dress, part of the dress, or you can even create these really cool circle patterns. So as you can see on the screen now, I've got a bunch of different designs of this dress just simply by using different layer masks and using the hue and saturation tool to change the effect. Brilliant, and there we go guys. So that's how you can create and change the colors of your clothing using the hue and saturation and the selective color layer in Photoshop. And it makes it a lot easier and it, you can understand how this particular color manipulates so you can even create complementary color schemes in your photos. Again, guys, if you want to like, comment and subscribe to my channel, it really does help my channel grow. Also, if you want to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my latest content. But until next time, guys, keep creating.